and uh, welcome again as we uh, crack on with this uh, this massive submarine we're doing here um, and uh, I just thought I'd give you a little insight now as we've moved on now to the uh, uh, the electronics and the internal parts of the submarine at the moment we've done all the painting on the outside apart from any weathering and what they're going to do and we'll show you that um, you know the top half of it in a minute but I just thought I'd like to share with you um, what we're doing now on the internal parts and um, we're getting to crack on with this uh, uh, with this job now and um, just kind of try and explain to you uh, what we're what we're doing on this submarine because this is um, not your kind of conventional one that we've done in the past with a, with a big tube so let's kind of show you uh, what we're doing and I said before and we're um, we're using these uh, waterproof boxes here um, to contain all the uh, all the electronics and the central ballast tank here let me pick it in yet <coughs> is um, it's just a tank on its own which will flood with water uh, once we release the air um, and that's uh, done with this solenoid valve here in the very end and we open that solenoid valve and then the weight of the submarine uh, allows water to flood into the ballast tank now I've also got a little uh, flood switch here so when it gets too full that switches it off so it doesn't flood too much when you want to surface again <coughs> uh, there's an air tube here which is connected to uh, an air pump and we'll show you that I'll see you down here I don't know how well that is and where you can see that or not but in here in this first box here <coughs> we have the air pump um, we'll control that um, which we turn from the transmitter which will blow air back into this um, ballast tank and will push out the water uh, once you touch it. However, there is a problem in the fact that it's taking air from this box here, as you understand, and almost creates a vacuum, uh, which is not what you want. Um, so what we've got on here is a little tiny solenoid valve here, um, which is then connected to the snort on the um, uh, on the conning tower. And once that gets above water, we can open this little solenoid valve. Um, and air will be allowed to be drawn in here from the surface, refilling this box and allowing you to fully surface. Um, so it, it's sort of kind of crucial that obviously you don't need a lot of air initially to bring the submarine to uh, the surface where the snort can be used. Uh, and that will come down to the ballast in, but that's that's how that works. Um, and that's the first box, and we won't <coughs> we won't um, we won't need to open that at all or anything like that. So that will be underneath the conning tower. Now, the second box <coughs> is the one that contains all the um, all the electronics, and um, that um, is a little bit more um, complicated, uh, and I've <laughs> made it more complicated myself. Um, because we've got the motor, which I haven't got yet, um, we're just still toying around with the size of the motor, it's probably going to be a brushless now, because uh, it all fits in here nicely. We've got two, two servos here for the X-fins, to control the X-fins. Another servo here which will control the fins on the uh, control tower. Um, and then at the moment we've just got this um, uh, distribution panel here ready and waiting. I've just started to uh, put on the electronics here. Um, I'm just connecting the, um, the air pump and the solenoid valve to one of these latching switches so I can have that on uh, on one of the um, uh, one of the controls, so uh, down will be uh, uh, well, uh, we'll open the solenoid valve, and then up will uh, give me the pump water, and then I have a little switch on the side which allow me to uh, switch to open the um, the, the snort valve, um, um, and then of course we've got some um, more wires coming in here, which I've got to put on, to go down through there for the lights, and obviously for the power for the conning tower. So that's what we're doing at the moment, and we're using um, uh, these um, glands here, these um, uh, these waterproof glands. Um, I don't know where we can show you those. Let's see. I don't know if we can show you those or not. Whether you can see them or not. Uh, these here. If you can see these down here. Um, those down here. These these are 
um, standard uh, waterproof M6 glands and you can use those for changing the washer inside um, for your uh, push rods and they work extremely well. And you just trap the wire in there and that becomes waterproof and then if you need to take it out any one time you can you can do so. Uh, but as you can see we're we're deep in the uh, we're deep in the situation of uh, getting it um, uh, getting it wired up. So um, so I'm gonna crack on uh, with that now and uh, we'll come back and show you what uh, what uh, what happens when I've completely uh, finished all the uh, all the wiring up um, and I'll just uh, show you the, what the uh, rest of the um, what the rest of the, the conning tower looks like I think I'll probably show you that in the last one but she's beginning to take shape now looks looks pretty pretty impressive now I'm I'm pretty impressed with it and I'll just show you what the conning tower looks like when we uh, use the periscopes Okay, right, we've got the uh, periscopes uh, in here now, <coughs> and we're just going to show you what it looks like uh, when we operate them using the snakes. Um, give you some idea what it's going to look like, hopefully. Um, so first of all, we have the snort valve, and that comes up like that. So that's, that's about the sort of height it will be. Um, at the moment, it's still on the, that's how far it's going to go. Um, then we have, uh, oh, we've got the camera coming up here, that's the main periscope, so that's doesn't look too bad, does that look pretty good, that. Um, that's the fins, the fins are going to be operated. Um, oh yeah, then we've got the uh, little man coming up there, I thought I'd just show you that, uh, I'll just show you that a bit in a bit more detail so you get some sort of idea what it looks like. And you'll see the hatchway open, there it is, and there he is coming up through the hatchway. How cool is that, eh? Just amazing. I, I couldn't think it was going to work as well as it did. And then there it down again, and there it goes, like that. Um, and then the final one is communications one, which is at the end there, like that. And these are going to come up in twos, so that's 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 what it is. And just give a general idea of what the, what the sub looks like in, in general, but it's just beginning to look like we've got some um, water markings on here now. I mean, these are important not just for show, but they are really important um, uh, when you're when you're actually doing the um, trimming and all the rest of it. That's that's pretty important to uh, uh, to get those correct. So there it is, it's beginning to look 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 pretty good now. I'm quite impressed with it now, um, and that's the general view of the hull at the moment as we're as we're getting it all set out. So. There we go, I'll come back shortly and show you what the uh, final bit of the um, what the final bit of the uh, uh, the wiring looks like uh, when we put the motor in and all the rest of it and then we'll be almost ready to um, see whether uh, see whether everything works and then we take on some water. So uh, let's show you, show you shortly when we finish it. 